to the name of Jesus. Each mm -hmm. of things will come to bless you for this beautiful morning. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for this beautiful morning, for the grace to be here. Thank we thank you, Lord, because you come to us and we believe in you. We are grateful for what you've done for us. Mm -hmm. We are so grateful that you counsel us among those that will be alive. Accept our praise in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Father, we pray even as the Lord to start this service. Father, this gathering, we pray, Father, come and be with us in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Father, come and start with us in the name of Jesus. We say we are two or three, and the other day you want me this. We are one and two, we are one and three. Father, we pray for your presence here this morning. Let it abide with us in the name of Jesus. Father, we will not do anything out of our own power. Mm. Oh Lord, but Lord, you will strengthen us and hold us. Mm. Thank you for everything. Thank you, Lord. We worship you, we bless you. Amen. At the end of the program, let all glory be yours. Amen. Thank you, Almighty Thank Father. Thank you, Lord. We let your presence flow here this yes, Lord. We worship you, we share some gifts. Yes, yes, yes. In Jesus' name we pray. In that same mm. attitude, I just want you to begin to lift your hands mm. and worship the ancient of things. Worship the King of Kings, the the great I have, the Lord of yesterday, today, forever, the one that rules in all the head. Oh, the one that makes the head is so soon that rules in the heaven. Oh, we bless you. We thank you, Jesus. We bless you because you are God. We thank you, our Lord of Shalom. We thank you, Father, because you are the great I am. Our Jehovah Shama, our Jehovah Nissi, our Jehovah Shalom. We bless you. We worship you, a King of Kings. We thank you, our Hell Shaddai. We worship you. We bless you. You are worthy to be praised. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. May us be gathered, may your spirit dwell within us. And as we gather, may we glorify your name. And knowing well that as our heart begins to worship,
conviction is this morning. I want you to begin to talk to the Lord this morning. Tell the Lord, say, Lord, I don't want to go back the same way I came. I want to meet with you. I don't care whether you are young or you are old. Talk to the Lord. I want you to open your mouth and talk to the Lord. Tell the Lord your expectation. This morning, he said the expectation of the righteous shall not be cut short. I want you to have a heart of expectation this morning. Ready to receive from the Lord. That your coming here is not going to just be like the normal days. Don't just come in just because we have to come. But just come because I want to see you, Lord. I want to know you. I want to hear from you this morning. Open your mouth and begin to talk to the Lord this morning. We worship you, Lord. We only speak with you. That we might see you, Lord. That we might know you. That you might talk to us, Lord, this morning.
States and Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit unto Galilee, and there went out a fame of him, a fame of him through all the regions round about, and he taught in their synagogues, being glorified of all. And he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, and his custom was he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for to stood up for to read. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering the sight to the blind, to set at the liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptability of the Lord. And he closed the book and gave it to, and gave it again to the minister and sat down. And the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him. He began to say unto them, This day is this scripture fulfilled in the in your ears. Amen. And all bear him witness and wondered at the gracious words which proceeded out of his mouth. And he said, Is not this Joseph's son? And he said unto them. Ye will surely see unto me this proverb, Physician, heal thyself. Whatsoever we have heard done in Capernaum, do also here in thy, in thy country. And he said, Verily I say unto you, No prophet is accepted into his own country, but I tell you of a truth. Many widows were in Israel in the day of Elias. When the heaven was shut up three years and six months, when great famine was throughout all the land, but unto none of them was Elias sent, save unto Sarapetha, a city of Sidon, unto a woman that was a widow. And many lepers were in Israel in the time of Elias, the prophet. None of them were was cleaned, saying Naaman was, saying Naaman the Syrian. And all day in the synagogue, when they heard these things, were filled with wrath, and rose up and thrust him out of the city, and led him into the brow of the hill, where on the city was built, that they might cast him down headlong. But he, passing through the midst of them, went his way, and came back to Cap to Capernaum, a city of Galilee. 
taught them on the Sabbath day and the Sabbath days, and they were astonished at his doctrine, for his word was with power. Amen. And in the synagogue was a man who had a spirit of an unclean de devil and cried out with a loud voice, saying, Let us alone. What have we to do with thee? Thou, Jesus of Nazareth, art thou come to destroy us? Hallelujah. I know Hallelujah. thee, thou art the Holy One of God. And Jesus rebuked him, saying, Hold thy peace, and come out of him. When the devil had thrown him, and when the devil had thrown him in the midst, he came out of him and hurt him not. Amen. Amen. God bless the reading. Let's go into our hearts in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
to to grab us to smart to seek your potential to seek your need. Let's pray that prayer in Jesus Christ. God, may I come to that point that I feel like I have acquired no knowledge. I have known too much. I have degrees. I have the masters. I have PhD. I, I know about psychology. I can study human. I can study the weather. I can study the environment. I can study people's character. I can study things. I, I know what to do. I know how the computer works. I can fix it. I can see that there's no more happening. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? I don't be too, too, too knowledgeable to seek your counsel, to follow your leading. To seek your, your, your direction. May I not be too, 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 too intelligent, too clever. To, not, not to the Bible says, in that book of Proverbs, trust in the Lord with all your heart and live not on your own understanding. Just in all your ways, not some ways, not some areas. Some people say, I don't need God for this one. I can handle this one. I don't need God for this one. I can handle this one. But I said, all your ways, if you acknowledge Him. In all your ways, according to him, may not be too, too, too knowledgeable, too clever, too smart, too intelligent to, to, to avoid you. That I can use my logic, I can handle logically. May I not be too smart to avoid you in the name of Jesus Christ. Help me, O God. May I not be too familiar with my environment, not to acknowledge you, not to, not to believe in what you can do. Oh, I have any, I know this word, I say, doctor. I don't need Jesus. May I not get to that point where I say I don't need you and I know what to do. It's a simple thing that I don't need to take your face for. No, I don't need to that point so I don't perish. So I don't miss it. So I don't suffer out of lack of knowledge of what the cause is. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Praise the Lord. We're going to go ahead and pray as we well. thank God. Um, in Christendom, we learn that grace, the five is the number for grace. And when we come to the month of October, like this, like, like I was sitting down there and thinking, you know, the way we see it back in Nigeria, like play, like play, yeah, in October. Mm -hmm. Like play, like play. This year that was, that I took as if this year was just yesterday. Mm -hmm. Like play, like play, in October. Mm -hmm. But it's by His blessing. Yes. It's by His grace. Yes. Things are happening. Yes. People are sleeping and waking, people are sleeping and. And not going to. People are going out and coming back, people are going out and not coming back. It's by his mercy. People are just, as some of you that they come. People just, you know, something just happened at Oprah, and it's not even their business. But the problem is straight bullets. The problem is just something you know nothing about. Something you know nothing about, something originated, like, you know, where I used to stay back in Nigeria, and not the area. I saw something on Facebook that there were some killings, like Yorubas and houses fighting. And there was someone that was marcheted. Yes. He yeah. was there on the streets. They had to sort of cover him. It was on Facebook. What is wow. The Where area they mentioned that? that it happened. Ma? Where is that? Let's go. Ha. Let's go. Let us. Really? The area they mentioned that it happened, that they happened that Recently? Fight. This week. Ha. This week. To cut in pieces. Only over marcheted. Yeah. Let me call it machete. Let me use it. Yeah, machete. You too. And that UTC. Big knife. Big knife. All right, yeah. and they use you see when somebody, I don't know, yeah, no, don't be too well. <laughs> somebody opened to see who was happening there. I saw, hmm. but I shouldn't be saying. Father Lord, I hmm. bless you, God. Yeah. So is there is a need fight? to thank God that we are alive. Oh, you're going to bomb around. Yeah, that one could probably didn't even know what causes what caused the fight, what was originally the fight. He just got in, involved in it. Maybe they just. In those, those, those days, I think back in the early 90s, when that happened in, in that same mm. environment, it just said because of Yoruba, Alsa would just stab somebody because they're just because of Yoruba. Mm. Yoruba would just kill Alsa because, just because they're Alsa. You don't know what caused the fight. You don't know what started it. Several things happening. Lord, what is hurting us? What is shaking us? Is it the provision? Is it the shelter? Is it the battles that the devil is waging against us that is defending us from, and they don't even know how we are still managing to survive? Let's try to appreciate him for his mercy that we are sustaining. The problem is of the mercy that we are consumed. We are alive by his mercy. We are standing today by his mercy because he kept us, like the song letter says. I am alive today because you kept me. If not for you, where would I be? 
If not for you, where would I be? Somebody was asked on TV, what keeps you going? And start mentioning, oh, it's my business, it's my cast, it's my investment, it's my family, it's my children. No, what keeps you going is God. What makes you wake up so I'm ready and say you have you know, something ahead of you? It's God, not you. Not nothing, not your money, not your family, not your parents, not your siblings, not your children, not your grandchildren, not your responsibilities, not your job. It is simply God by His mercy that we are consumed. We wake up to every day by His mercy. He sees us through the first month of January to February to March to April to May. All the uproars and tumult, all the things that they say when there's life, there is hope. We are alive. No matter what we'll be facing, no matter what we'll be going through, it will not be where you want to be at this time. But people are desiring to be where you are at this time. People have not what to eat. People have no shelter over their head. The sun comes on them. The rain comes on them. Winter comes on them. Summer comes on them. And they don't have shelter over their head. Somebody had to stay in a vehicle and start the parking lot. And they don't have to go to the cell when they come and join you. They have nowhere to stay. Thank you. 
Yes. It's your righteousness you can see I'll over us and say, Lord. yes, this is righteousness. It's only Jesus' righteousness that we can say ah. is righteousness that can clothe us with. Father, have mercy upon me. Father, have I'll mercy upon me. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in every I have not lived this life to walk worthy of the calling, worthy of the gift of life that you've given to me. Lord, have mercy upon me. Father, have mercy upon me. Wash me your blood, cleanse me, O God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I beseech you, Heavenly Father, the Lord, do not cast me away. Thy name be prayed. Cast me not away from your presence. Take not the Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of salvation. And be the right spirit in me. Right for me to do right by you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Cast me not away, O Father, because I've done wrong. I've messed up. I know what to call your child. I'm ashamed of Christianity. I'm ashamed to call your child. But Lord, have mercy upon me. I restore me to God to be the sonship in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Earlier, we said the month of October, we believe, is a month of double grace. Brethren, it's like grace that's you know, we keep on by His grace alone. But this grace given to us is being used and needs to be replenished from time to time. Mm. Say, Lord, I need your grace. Mm, need your double grace to double serve you, to double serve. grace to love you, double, double grace, grace to do your, your bidding and your living even in this corrupt world. Ah. Double grace to, to, to stand for you. Double grace to stand for you. Double grace to stand for you. In the name of Jesus to live for you. It is tough, I must tell you. But by the grace of God, it is easy to live a victorious Christian life. Lord, I need double grace for God to see me through God. Despite all that the devil and the enemy are throwing at me, I need double grace for God to keep on keeping on. Lord, I beseech you, God. Lavish your grace upon me, O God. Lavish your grace upon me, O God. In the name of Jesus Christ, your grace, O God, through the stuff and tumultuous world, O God, through the challenges and the cause, O God, through the challenges I have to go through, O God, through the need for my responsibilities, Lord, double grace to see me through, O God, that I remain mentally sane, that I remain uh, health wise, I'm, I'm okay, health wise, in the name of Jesus Christ, emotionally sound, Lord, I pray, O God, that your grace will see me through, O God, because I cannot do it with myself, O God, my strength shall no man prevail, I have no strength, I have no power of my own to face all these challenges, to face all these challenges, to face all these responsibilities, Lord, I depend upon you, Lord, you have grace upon me, Almighty God, to live that life that you have called me to live, O God, despite all the challenges, despite all the things thrown at me, despite all the challenges out ahead of me, in the name of Jesus Christ, help me, O God, help me, O God, we sang that hymn this morning, O God, our help, in ages past, our hope for years to come, if you can help us, there's no way of help that can help, that we like help, and then our help is not come free, it's not going to give some help for free, then he said, he said, I'll put my hand on you, but when is coming my help, he my help comes from the Lord, the maker of everything, somebody said, there's no one that calls us to say, God help me, that he does not help, he helps everyone that I talk for himself, he is an ever-present help in time of need, we need his help by lavishing us with his grace to see us through, because we cannot do it alone, we cannot, we cannot live this life of our own strength, of our own knowledge, of our own knowledge and position, of our smartness, of our intelligence, of our logical reasoning, we cannot live this life that way, we need his grace, we need his grace to see us through. There are times people have given up. There are times people, as you must be are tired, as slaves, they are tired. They cannot move on. For your grace to us to believe more than grace. Love that is upon God in abundance. In the name of Jesus, in abundance. In abundance. He said, even in challenges, I should rejoice in tribulation. If it is easy to be in tribulation and rejoicing, I would say, you should rejoice. Let me just say, it's not easy. But with the grace, it's easy. We should rejoice in tribulation. How does that make sense? But with God, it is possible. With 
if it is possible, not in tribulation, in trials, in challenges, the grace to rejoice, to live victorious life, to please you, to do your bidding, love the power of God, to see us too, to keep on keeping on. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ, love you, grace of God. Your great grace, oh God. Ah, that you have shown women of old. Our daddy, 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 our
the word of God today. We'll not be familiar with the word. Amen. The express word that it has for us on his throne. Lord, I open my heart. I empty myself of whatever I've known. I want to learn from you afresh. Speak to my heart. Let's be in the Christ. Speak to me today, O Lord. Minister to me, O God. You bring this time to us, O God. Even as you are anoint your daughter to speak in your counsel, even as you strengthen her, even as you protect her and shield her in this earth as you declare your counsel. Lord, open our hearts, our understanding. Give us a vision beyond the world of this altar. Let your word find expression in our lives. And then we are ready, we are open, we are ready to receive of you. Lord, we are open, O God. Speak to us, O God. Speak to your daughter, O God. Fresh, fresh oil, fresh grace upon your daughter. In the name of Jesus Christ, we raise your God. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord will bless you, God. We just come and just mark today, just on Sunday, or we are here just to mark the time, or just to see we have a prayer. We want a special encounter, encounter the fresh of God today. as if we should just go home. Ah, Lord, that satisfies. Yes, this has been a wonderful, wonderful day. Uh, Father, we thank you, oh God, for the praise and worship session. And we're worshiping, and our sister was leaving us, Father. We thank you so much for your presence. You know, it's been a while that I've, 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 I've perceived the fragrance of God. Ah, even while we were praying, I said, God, can you still come where people are praying? Ah. Yes, I thank you, Lord, for the fragrance in this place. I wish you can all smell it. I, 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 I pray for the impartation of the gift to smell him. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says it's the rose of Sharon. It really is. We, people do not know that these things, you know, people can see angels who can smell God when he comes into the house. That worship session, the praise session, Father, we th I thank you so much because... Lord, you, you really filled me. I mean, I'm telling you. And I pray that every one of us will be satisfied. Amen. Even in, the, in your homes, uh, all those that are watching online, I pray that there will be evidential, evidential manifestation of his presence in your life, in your homes too. Even as we're praying, I thank you, Mr. Siri. Oh, God, I thank you, Lord, for helping us this morning. Ah, I thank you, Lord, for helping us this morning. Ah, ah, I thank you, Lord, for helping us this morning. Who is like unto you, O God? You are glorious in holiness. You are fearful in praises. You are always doing wonders. I'm telling you, you were really, really, really. Ah, I thank God even for the reading of the word. I thank you, Lord, for the hymn. That hymn. And when the Lord was, I said, and I started looking for it. I couldn't find it. I said, what happened? He said, that's the one that you should sing. And Lord, we pray in this place, you will be the leader here. Amen. You will be the leader. We Amen. have no wisdom of our own. We have nothing like our brother was, our minister was praying. We, we do not even know anything. Yes. <laughs> we are babies here. And we are led only by you. Yes. Our Lord, in the name of Jesus, continue to lead us. Amen. We have no part in any wisdom. We don't even have any wisdom. To say that we, we will say that we know more than God. <laughs> we don't, Father, we depend on you. And on you alone, please, be the chairman. Be, you are the owner, the chairman. You are all in all in this place. You alone have your way. We have no other way. We have no... We wait on you for your leading. Whatever you want us to do is what we do. What you don't want us to do, we don't do. We're not going to box you. Never. In the name of Jesus. We cannot put you in a box. Father, we ask that you take absolute control. Amen. As I come into your presence, I pass the gates of praise. Into your sanctuary, till I stand in face to face. I look upon your countenance, I see the fullness of your grace. Now 
And we ask that you will speak. And the Lord will be here. And Lord, you will help us to do that your name is glorified. Amen. Thank you for always hearing us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please be seated in his awesome presence. <laughs> Please be seated in his awesome presence. We thank you, Lord, you are holy. You are a good God. You are righteous. <coughs> You want to share your word, Lord, help us to share. Help us to hear you, Lord. Speak in Jesus' name. You come against every distraction, everything that will not let us hear God. We ask, we bind and we cast into the abyss in the name of Jesus Christ. We decree the Lord who will be hearers and doers of your word. The spirit of God, the spirit to do, Lord, incubate us by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Praise the Lord. Like I said, honestly, if, if not that, we have to say something. I would have just said we should close because... Yes, you know, there's, it's not every time you, you feel that satisfaction. And I know that God has, has, has visited us today and we're grateful. We're grateful. You know, when you just feel this, you just feel this release and just, you know, particularly when uh, Lisa was praying, he said, God done done everything. So, but we we'll pray, we'll, we'll share. And we know that God will be glorified. So I want us to open our Bibles to Second Kings. I thank God for the scripture that our minister <laughs> read. That was in Luke chapter 4, from verse 14 to I think about 35 or so. I will thank God for that word. We thank God for the power. We thank God for the anointing even of the word of God. The word of God is is good all by itself. Hallelujah. Amen. So, I am um, Second Kings chapter three. Second Kings chapter three. Are we there? Second Kings chapter three. We we'll can start from verse one. We just go and we'll see where God yeah. is leading us. So, this. Uh, so we we'll start. Now Jehoram, Jehoram, the son of Ahab, began to reign over Israel in Samaria in the 18th year of Jehoshaphat, king of Judah. You know when they say 18th year? I just wonder, what are they talking about? So this means that Jehoshaphat has been reigning 18 years, and then this Jehoram became king, right? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, and he reigned 12 years. Verse 2. And he wrought evil in the sight of the Lord. This is very profound. You see, after David, all the kings that came, they either did good or bad in the sight of God or evil in the sight of God, like their fathers. You know that proverb, like father, like son. Mm -hmm. Like mother, like daughter. Mm -hmm. May we not be, may we not be spoken of us on our children. Mm -hmm. Us in relative to our parents and us in our children relative to us. May we not be bad children, bad mm -hmm. parents in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Even if our parents and done things may we turn to good, to God, 
because we know that it's only God that is good. Praise the Lord. It doesn't matter, like our minister was saying, it doesn't matter what you and I call good, call facts, call truth. It's whatever God says is truth. Truth is with God. Hallelujah. And as long as you are, you know, on God's side, you're good. Praise the Lord. So, all these kings, it just amazes me how, okay, they saw their father, what their father did, and, you know, it's as if, you know, something that uh, Yoruba people call a rojile, you know, to be, to be thoughtful, to have, you know, perception. It's like maybe we're not thoughtful enough, because when you see what happens to someone, I'm not talking about, okay, the spiritual aspect now. I know there's always this, there's always the spiritual aspect actually, and the spiritual determines the physical. Because you'd be wondering why would someone see a person living a certain lifestyle and the things that befell that person or the consequences, and then you two, you do the same. Is there any wisdom in it? So you will know that it's not of he that will it, but it's just you and I. Is the mercy of God. If not for God, which will be will, will probably be worse than the women on the streets. Or the men, you know, doing all the guns and will probably be worse. Because there is a spirit behind. You know, we're talking about last week about spirit that went, I mean, there's so many things I wanted to talk about last week that I could not. I felt like we were not. I don't think people were ready, but I was like, and then the Lord began to chastise me. So let me, let me just let's so that we can go quickly, and I don't digress too much because this this today is very serious. So this man was doing the Bible says in verse two, and he wrought evil in the sight of the Lord, but not like his father. Hallelujah. Not, verse 2, it says, but not like his father and like his mother. Who was his father? Who was Jehoram's father? Does everybody know? And his mother. <laughs> his father was Ahab. And his mother was Jezebel. Wow. Uh -huh. You can imagine. But they said, the Bible says he rough, he still rough evil, but not like his, nobody feels rich like those people. Uh, Ahab and uh, Jezebel. Hmm. Ah. May we not be like that. Hmm. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hmm. But you know that that child is already, has already been set up for faith. I mean, the fact that he did not even do as much, we should thank God for him. Hmm. Is it genetics? Is it the spiritual atmosphere in the house? Is it, is it the things that they worship? Is it the spirit that must have been who bring over this child? How? How can he do otherwise but to follow in his father's day? Ahab came. People forget Ahab. Jezebel. Mm. Ha! Was his mother. But yet the Bible says he did not do as much as. You see, in most of the time, you see, if you read the accounts of this. All these first kings, second kings, uh, first Samuel, second Samuel, first Chronicles. You will see that the kings they did as bad as their fathers. Never did they mention like their mother, except of course Alitalia. That that one is another uh, phenomenon. We don't even talk, talk about that. But we're not talking about evil women today. But let every woman to take heed. May we not be like that in Jesus' name. Okay, so and he said, for he put away the image of Baal. That was what his father and his mother used to worship. We remember the encounter of the, the prophets of Baal on Mount Carmel. The face of between them and Elijah, right? Mm -hmm. And he called down fire. That his father had made. Number three, verse three. He said, nevertheless, he cleaved unto the sins of Jehoram, uh, Jehoram, the son of Nebat. That See, they didn't... Now they left his father and went to his great great grandfather. Jehoram was uh, the one that, when God took the kingdom from Solomon, no, from um, Solomon's son, what's his name? 
I've forgotten his name right now. And he, you know, when they were telling him, the elders were saying, okay, don't do like your father did. Calm down a little bit. And he just said, no, I'm going to follow the youth. And he did. And the, the kingdom was split. So he only had two, two tribes left with him. I pray that God will, God will not take away his kingdom from us in Jesus' name. So Jehoram was, uh, was the other person that God gave the ten, the ten tribes to, the son of Nebath. Now, it was just a nobody from nowhere, yet God picked him. Yes, it was supposed to be a punishment to Solomon's son, but he himself now did terrible. I don't know how can God give you something and you just decide that oh yes and it's because people do not realize that it's God that gave them I believe I believe they do not believe that it's God that gave because if you know that God gave you that thing you will use it for the glory of God right if God gives you a child or children you would you would want those children to you know but you know uh, yeah just I mean I got married or uh, whichever way I had the baby and I'm all good. Nah, it wasn't God. You know, it's just like science. Oh yeah, you do this, do this, then you have your child. So people don't don't you know praise the Lord. So um which made Israel to sin, he departed not therefrom. So and verse four. I'll just jump. Uh and it came to pass, verse 5. But it came to pass when Ahab was dead. So Ahab had the king of Moab under subjugation. Okay? But when Ahab died, the king of, uh, king of Moab rebelled, right? Like, oh, the guy that conquered me is dead. It's just his son. So, but his son, Jehoram, went to Samaria. Right? Verse 6, and the king Jehoram went out of Samaria the same time and numbered all Israel. And he went, verse 7, and he went and sent to Jehoshaphat. And may we not join forces with them. So he sent to Jehoshaphat. The king of Judah. This one is on God's side. He's, I mean, you know, he's trying. I mean, he's trying in his own little way. He's doing. But this king, you know, sometimes the children that were sharing myself, I mean, so they were sharing that. The Bible, Jesus Christ said we should be as wise as the serpent, right? As harmless as the He said the children of the world, they are much wiser than the children of God. This man, I'm sure he knows that if he calls Jehoshaphat, that Jehoshaphat will bring his God and help him. Sometimes they purposely form associations with you as a child of God. But the truth of the matter is this. Do not take for granted relationships, associations, friendships, because friendship with the world is what? Enmity with God. Enmity with God. And when you, when you have a friend, there's possibility of exchange, maybe not exchange, but rubbing off of spirits. Don't take it for granted, though. That's why the Bible says, be ye not deceived. Evil communication, what? Corrupt good manners. Be not deceived. Many of us are like, oh, yes, ah, no, 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 no problem. Ah, it's just my friend. It's just my friend. Which friendship has the son of uh, God with Belia? If you think you know more than God, God has already given his own prescription. Do not be deceived. Evil communication. If people that are bad are communicating with themselves, someone that is good, and someone that is bad. Let's not, you know, nobody's good, nobody's bad. But mm. a, a, a person, mm. I used to say something to, I said many, many of us do not understand, especially children of God. When you're in your house and you're praying, you know, 
know, maybe every morning, every night, right? You and your children, you gather together, you are praying, you are sharing the word of God. Some parents are busy taking their own children to their cult. Some of them are flying in the night, teaching them, even from when they are breastfeeding. They're teaching the, the, the acts of witchcraft. Some of them, you know, these um, herbal people, traditionalists, they're taking their children and teaching them incantations. Yes, they're teaching them. Wait, but when children are good things, it's okay, you know, they're too young. Really? And those are the people that are, our children are going to be, in, you know, they're going to be their peers. It's time to wake up. You know all this work, the work, uh, giving a work, this that they talk about. The workness is is not. It's like they're they're being awakened to stupidity mm. and ridicule. When they talk about being awake, we're talking about being awake and alive to the things of God. How can there be three children? Let's say twenty children in a class. Let's even divide it. Okay. I don't know how you want to divide it. Five are children of God. Five are children of witches and wizards and all that. Five children of um, Havalis. Five Buddhists. Five. And you are not teaching your own child. It's not only education you teach. You teach the children of God the word of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, the king of Moab has rebelled against me. That's what he told Jehoshaphat. Will thou go with me against Moab to battle? What is his business? What is your business with what God has not called you to? And he said, I will go up. Listen to this old verse. This is still verse 7. And he said, I will go up as I as am I, I am as thou art. In short, so that's how we're the same. You go that's the same. Very mm -hmm. He said, then he said what? See the way we 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 put ourselves in trouble. The Bible says Jesus Christ said people, men are ensnared by the words of their mouth. Mm -hmm. You just talk without reason. You don't weigh things, you don't pray before you should, should I join forces with this person? Should I be this person's friend? Or should this person be my friend? Should I go into business or partnership with this person? Should this person come to me? Mm. They said, there's one lady that I heard this to say. You just heard that she died. Like, and then someone was ahead of me yesterday. They said, I don't know, tell me I did get good. I don't know, if you know. Yeah. They said, the way she, the way she, 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 and, oh boy, you perpetuate. Yeah. You know, Things are you are you permitted to go to that place? Even as ministers of God, did they send you there? Did God send you there? Is it everywhere you climb? Yeah, I want to be popular. I want to I want to blow. I want the world to know me. Ha! I have the, which which gift? Which one? What do you have that was not given? Can anybody receive anything? It said to be given from above. Why are we running? What race are we running? If God did not send me there. Or if not yet time, why don't you calm down? Let's calm down. Hmm. There's a lot to do for God. There's still a lot by the grace of God. But what he wants for us now, that's what we ought to do. Where he, Paul said, I learned to what I did. And he said he also knows how to abound. God knows. He knows where you are and I are. He knows where we are right now. He knows. I'm not just talking about geographical location. I'm talking about in your in your work with him, in your finances, in your issues, the things that the things that are troubling us. He knows everything. The Bible says we don't have a high priest that's not touch. You know, he knows what we are feeling, the infirmity. So, and then he said, look, he said, my people are as thy people. He just 
people are here. So, <laughs> you see some of the things that our ancestors have yoked. May the Lord by fire divide us from it in the name of Jesus Christ. The yokes that they put on us and our children, generations. You know when I remember that scripture said um, uh, that um, uh, I, I will bless those who to the third and fourth generation. How did God put it? He God will... Uh, please. That scripture, I think is, is in Numbers 20, I mean. This is number 20. The commandment, they never miss you. Help me. You are help me. I mean, what's the topic for today? Today, Jehoram, Jehoshaphat, Eli and Elisha. Are you hearing it? Jehoshaphat. Two commandments, yeah. yeah. Numbers, what are the numbers 20? I'm trying to. Verse 3, please don't go to the 10 commandments. 10 commandments. Mm-hmm. The scriptures. Is it 20? Exodus 20. Exodus 20. 10 commandments, Exodus 20. I'm sorry? 10 commandments, Exodus 20. Verse 1. Exodus 20, Abby. Sorry, I was saying. Exodus 20. Uh, where is it? From verse 3. Verse 3. No, no, I don't want to start from that. I don't know that God before me. Thou, verse 4. Thou shalt make no unto thee any graven image or any likeness or anything. Da, 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 da. <laughs> verse 5. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God. Right? Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Verse 6. And showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me. But look at that verse 5. Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation. The third and fourth generation. Some, some fathers that you did not even know existed and then you'll be partaking in his, in his punishment. Hmm. I mean, I don't know if anybody has, anybody was alive when their great, great grandfather was alive. No. So that, whatever that man did, no now. I remember my grandfather very well. But his father, I don't know him. You <laughs> my grandfather, I mean, well, I didn't know my grandfather too on my mom's side. But my grandfather on my father's side, I know him very tall child like that. But very awesome man. But his own father, I did not know. And imagine. Eh? <laughs> we have all kinds of situations in this house. I don't know if you know your own father or grandfather or great grandfather or but great great grandfather. Then God is going to punish. Ah, may God remove our portion from that Amen. in the name of Jesus. Not every, whatever they've done, let it go with them all by the blood of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. And many of us are these people, these fathers that we're talking about. Ha! Especially in Africa. Hmm. There's some of them. Uh, I don't even want to begin to talk about my, 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 my maternal side. Serious, into serious things. Ha! Jesus. May the blood of Jesus deliver us. Some things that they've done. You hear that some fathers, they will go inside the sea. They will come out dry. <laughs> yes, now. They will come out dry. And then they will be doing things. And then those children, the, the great grandchild who may suffer some of the things he has done. Some of the covenants they've made. And these covenants are binding. But we break by the blood of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Ghost. They are not in of God. Of every covenant that is speaking against us, in the name of 
Jesus Christ. Amen. May the good Lord deliver us Amen. and our own in Jesus' name. Amen. So quickly back to Second Kings. Uh, may God help us so. So, Second Kings chapter 3. By fire, by the blood of Jesus, may we be delivered. Because many things are speaking against us. People will be saying, hey, but I pray, I fast. Hey, I, I, I give everything. I, I do that, blah, blah, blah. I, do, I don't do this, I don't do that. Ah! What about all those things? May God deliver you and I in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So he said, and my people are as thy people. And my horses are, are, are as thy horses. What happened? Is it this serious? He even, even, even yoked the horses again on things. Many things you say, ah, no, my car is your car, you can, you can. No! You know, the Lord delivered and <laughs> uh, delivered from the spirit of food to white Jesus. Ah, that God delivered you from food to white Jesus. It's true. And boss white Jesus. You be busting everywhere, and then God, God had mercy on you. Then you now say, my 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 house is like your really, my house is your house. <laughs> the house that you are living in that you don't qualify to be in. That God is paying for you, and you now say you you do not understand the covenant that God is trying to establish with you, and you now go and bring somebody else. In. <laughs> ah, it is well, new. God help us. And then when things are happening and things so they will not start wondering how ah, what? Achan. What did Achan do? He took the things that God said they should not. They are costing. He went to hide it under his tent. Kilo the whole family suffered this. And he said, My people are as their people, my horses are as their horses. Eight. And he said, Which way shall we go up? And he answered. The way through the wilderness of Edom. Verse 9. Verse 9. So the king of Israel went and king of Judah and the king of Edom. So three of them now, three kings come together, right? And they fetched a compass for seven days, or seven days journey. And there was no water. Everybody say there was no water. There was no water. Everybody say there was no water. There was no water. For the host and for the cattle that followed them. I was wondering why did cattle have to follow them? These people they like good life. They see what to be drinking and eating. Why they were going on 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 uh, on, on uh, what's it called? <laughs> on the war or something. Verse 10. And the king of Israel said, Alas! <laughs> when people say that alas, you know that. <laughs> Something has happened. Something has happened. That the Lord has called these three kings together. But listen, you know, he said, and the king of Israel said, alas, that the Lord has called these three kings together to deliver them unto the hand of Moab. Was it God that called them together? Was it God? It was not. He, the king of Israel, was the one that called them together. Because if God called them, God would have what? Provided for them. So many things we call ourselves into. Would have entered inside, finished, and be wondering what happened. I heard someone say online that hey, marriage is this, that people are condemning marriage now. The reason, marriage is a very, very good thing. Very good. Very, very good. But the problem is we choose the wrong people. Either from this, the looking of our eyes, the, uh, if we lose the money in our bank, in our pocket, oh, six pack, it's tall. Oh, she's so beautiful and curvy. She has it front and back. We look and we enter into things that God did not call us to. If God said, I remember there was a man that was saying, that was sharing that God told him to go and marry a certain sister. And he looked, he said, mm -mm. he cannot be. <laughs> he fasted, he prayed. He went and he chased another after another lady. All kinds of things were happening. And then he got 
God showed him in the vision again. Hmm. That's not the woman I sent you to. Because that one was not yellow for poor, was not a. Uh, oh, oh, uh, 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 what all these things? It was not a, uh, you know, good to look at. She was just flat. But no, nothing. Nothing, no nice hair. No, but the woman maybe used to do cornrow. Like, uh uh. It cannot be. <laughs> I reject that um, that uh, word of knowledge. No, it cannot be my portion. Ah, when all these ladies are, it was um, Paul Eneche, Pastor Dr. Oh. Eneche. He said this. He said his wife. You just you wear all these long loose clothes, and you know nothing. Look at the woman now, shining in the glory of God. He said, Ah, God, no. Ah. Oh, the sisters, what are, those ones too are Christians. They are fighting, they are tongue talking. They are this, they are that. God said, I did not say you today. You better. <laughs> the, man, the man wasted time on the issue. If this one, to to, 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 if this one should go, to go to work again. he struggled with it. But eventually he did. Even uh, Daddy, my family was sharing about how, you know, he, I mean, that lady. Mama Gloria, that one is beautiful all around anyway. That one is beautiful. She's like you, tall, beautiful, and good to go any day. So, I mean, you know, but you had other options. But marriage is a very good thing. But many of us have yoked ourselves with things that are people that are not God's choice for us. They might be for somebody else, but not for you. So that's why you see all these things and, you know, People are talking terrible things about marriage. Terrible things. It was God that instituted marriage. It's a good thing. A good thing. Especially if the two of them are in God. Many of us do not even know God before we enter into marriage. Bagam, that's another one. The husband is worthy, the wife is worthy, they use the wisdom of the world. Even then, some of them still work, right? Some of them still work. Some Muslim, Christian, they work because they have the fear of God. Many people have lost the fear of God and they want you. And then they're raising a home that is devoid of the fear of God. And some of us, we are looking for those ones that are spirit filled. Jim, Jim, the games. It's not. Mm. No, it's not. Even. I, I, I remember that Gio uh, Jim was saying one time that you know one sister during evangelism, mm -hmm. evangel you know went to a place and met a man. The man was very worldly, was even into you know, but the man got you know saved by the sister, and the man eventually proposed. Many of us are not doing the work. We are looking for pastor. I be almost pastor. No. Eh? We're looking for pastor. No. The pastor is not your, it might still be that man in that, uh, that's, that, uh, I don't want you in the pits that God forgive me, that God wants you to pick up. We all want ready need. Pastor that has gone to Bible college, that knows the word of God. Do they all, do they all even fear God? I think we do fear God. Praise the Lord. So, and then 11, verse 11, he says, but Jehoshaphat said, I should, I should come and let you come and do this so that you know that that this is you. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> you yeah, right it. Praise the Lord. But Jehoshaphat said, thank God for someone that has the wisdom of God. He said not hear a prophet of the Lord that we may inquire of the Lord that we may inquire of the Lord by him and one said to the king and one of the kings king of Israel's servants answered and said here is Elisha the son of Shepherd which poured water on the hands of Elijah Ah, so seriously. Verse 12. And Jehoshaphat said, The word of the Lord is with him. What? 
The word of the Lord is with who? My is dear. with Elisha. Ah, you know, we can go to town with this scripture alone. He said the word of the Lord is with him. So the king of Israel and Joshua and Joshua and the king of Edom went down to him. 13. And Elisha said unto the king of Israel, What have I to do with thee? From afar. What have I to, to do with thee? Why are you coming to me? Why are you what coming to me? Get thee to the prophet of thy father, to the prophet of thy mother. And the king of Israel said unto him, Nay, for the Lord has called these three kings together to deliver them into the hand of God. Verse 14, And Elisha, Elisha said, As the Lord of hosts liveth, before whom I stand, surely were it not that I regard the presence of Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah, I would not look toward thee, nor see thee. Who are you moving with? Who is that person that is your, you are in partnership with? That God can on his behalf overlook your mess. Many of the times, yes, you yourself, you try to make yourself good. But if you are in partnership with someone, because nobody is perfect. And sometimes we do things, we do err. But someone is speaking, we do wrong things. We do wrong things. Yes, nobody is perfect. And, and then sometimes, even the perfect ones, sometimes they go, you know, they go astray a little bit. And then, but someone that you're in partnership with, either your prayer partner, either your, I don't know, association, somebody that you can, that can stand in the gap for you, or someone on whose behalf God can overlook your stupidity. All of us, we join ourselves together when, like the same, uh, <laughs> where we just we just do things, you know. Only your brother will say we can't all sleep and put our head on sleep. <laughs> but these days, you see, everybody's just like, no, somebody should be, look the same way. Joshua was able to, okay, come. What is next to do? And by the spirit, I know the spirit of God that help that was in him. That gave him that wisdom. That, is there no prophet that we can talk to? And then the person you are going to, those that know who the times and what we ought to do. Like the sons of, um, uh, what's his name? Oh, I forgot to know. They knew, eh? They knew what to do. The Bible says they knew what to do. They knew the times. They knew what was required of Israel. Sons of Issachar. Issachar. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So verse 15, 15. But he now said, but now bring me a minstrel. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass when the minstrel played that the hand of the Lord came upon him. Upon who? Upon Elisha. Praise the Lord. Amen. He said, as, as the mistral played, that the hand of the Lord came upon Elisha. Verse 16. And he said, the spirit of the Lord made this valley full of ditches. And he said, thus said the Lord, make this valley full of ditches. Now, where I'm going is this. That's verse 15. He said, but now, see, in verse 14, he, he disregarded who? The king of uh, Israel. Because, I mean, this, this one, your fathers, what your fathers, may God not disregard us because of the sins of our fathers and our mothers in the name of Jesus Christ. And may God not disregard our children because of our own sins in the name of Jesus. May we not despise us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, verse 15 said, but now, notwithstanding, 
because of that king of Judah, Jehoshaphat, bring me a minstrel. And it came to pass when the minstrel played that the hand of the Lord came upon him, came upon Elisha. For some weeks now, the Lord has been talking to me about people, so called, you know, uh, let me not see people, that we need to, the Bible says God is looking for them that will worship Him in spirit and in what? Truth. And in truth. truth. In spirit and in what? Truth. And when we minister unto God, we sing our songs. We worship, we try to worship God. The kinds of things that are coming out, I don't know how to start, Lord help me. You see people worshiping God the way they want, the songs they sing, the kind of song they will say they are rapping, they are, you know, and unfortunately, unfortunately, most of the, we cannot worship God the way we want to worship God. We worship God the way He wants to be worshipped. Reverentia, holy God. We worship Him as His, as His, his due, as as He desires, not by what we think is right. Where we, we are getting it wrong, I don't know, but God will help us all. in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And fast too. Because it's becoming an issue. And you see, look at this man, the minister was worshipping, was playing and worshipping God. And the Bible says the hand of the Lord came upon Elisha and he began to prophesy. Many things that people worship now releasing things, spirits, I'm not saying that they're not singing from the spirit of God, so that God does not slap me. We can't judge them. We can't judge them. We can't judge anybody. Yeah. But I don't know, if you look at the state of the church, if what you sing or what you minister in should help the man of God or the woman of God, and you are not doing it right. Everyone is going to give an account of himself or herself. Yes. Everyone is going to give an account of himself or herself. Before you hold the microphone to come to, have you purged yourself? You cannot just be coming from something that you know you should not be doing. And you come, you you you, you hold the mic, you lift up holy hands, you, and you're speaking. And and you're worshiping, and you're, 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 and what is coming out of you is defiling the people. Jesus. Yes, it's defiling the people. Ah, brethren, there's so much. That's why you see, instead of the church to become more holy, we're having more programs. We're doing more things. I'm not saying it's only the people that sing alone. I mean, it's all of us. I mean, the church, we have so many programs, so many things, and yet, yet, would we say we're becoming holier? Are we? No. There's a lot going on. And then Joe was, was praying, you know, was talking on, on Friday. Holy Ghost. You know, humility was saying many things. And I was like, ha. Ah, God help us. God help us. It's affecting the world. We are supposed to be the, the, the light of the world. We're supposed to be the salt of the earth. When we speak, we, the salt is supposed to go out and sanitize. Yet, mm -mm. it's more of defilement. People are just, some will even come and lay hands. Ha! Ha! Transference of all kinds of spirits mm -hmm. and trouble, and they're troubling the church such that the things we're meant to do to the world that the world's supposed to see us and begin to emulate us 
It's not happening. Like the NGO was saying, we pray, pray, pray. It seems as if nothing is happening. I look at the state of Nigeria and the world. Because children of God are not doing their own part. No matter how little, it starts from somewhere. The kind of songs we sing, the kind of things, the way we, our posture, when we come before a, a, a great, awesome, terrible God, is it enough? Is it, is it in alignment with what he wants? Our posture is our heart. Are we humble? Are we, uh, and of course, you know that the gospel means that the ones that they are like this the most. So you sing from that spirit of pride. What do you think will be, will, you'll be transferring to the people? And we wonder why, you know, things are not happening. The presence of God. Ah, ah. Without God in a place, there's, it, it, there's no point anybody there's gathering. Chaos. It's, there's even no point. Because it is present that there's fullness of joy and pleasures forevermore. It's in his presence that you can do valiantly. It's in his presence that demons flee. It's in his presence that we have victory. It's only in the presence of God. You think the demons fail you and I? It's God in us that we fail. It's the presence of God. The atmosphere. You see, child, can when you, there was one song I was listening. One song, I love that song so much. And I, that day, I didn't even know that people around me were watching me. I just heard pause. I don't want to. And it's a very good song. Well, what day? And then the Lord said, I, what I heard, I was afraid. You can't just listen to anything. I'm mm -hmm. nope. Even so called Christian songs, you cannot just listen to them anyhow. Say some of them with the singing and all those sonorous there. That is, is a different thing, oh. Can such things chase out demons? Can it be delivered? The Bible talks about David that when he was playing on the harp, he was playing for King Saul. He said the, 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 the evil spirit on the, he lifted off, right? The things that we do these days. Can they? Let's be honest with ourselves. I pray that God will give us understanding Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And God will help us. And some of us said, we're one leg like this, one leg. Some will listen to God say something, we'll sing. And then when we go, we'll go and be listening to gish, 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 gish. We'll go and be listening to all this, all this worldly. The same mouth. The same mouth. Wants to wants to bless and curse. Mm. Yeah, you be wondering, hey, oh, um, um, what the songs are not bless, are not curses now. Oh, there's no fence. You're either on God's side or any song that does not glorify God is of the devil. Hey, I'm just talking about my girl now. I'm just singing to my girl. Oh, <laughs> it's still to the flesh. Oh. Well, so how do we sing to ourselves? I don't know. <laughs> you can go ask Google. <laughs> I will tell you, I love you. Even in those songs, you can still go I mean, you still have to just be careful. Or well, compose your own song. I mean, why? Why not? You can compose your own song and sing to your wife. Praise God. Praise the Lord. So, but now bring me a minstrel. And it came to pass when the minstrel played, the, the inspiration came. You know, the anointing came. Like the way we were worshiping this morning. And we could smell the fruit. You know, have you been to a place where somebody that was, was singing and you could smell, you know, rotten egg? Pungent smell. And I was like, Ah, we do not understand the spirituality of things. It's as if demons were released and people were there. Ha! Ah, I pray that the Lord will give us understanding in the name of Jesus Christ. 
And he said, Thus said the Lord, make this valley full of ditches. So he told them to, you know, this is the prophet now. The prophet is telling them what to do. The prophet is what telling them what they ought to do. He said, dig ditches. For thus said the Lord, ye shall not see wind, neither shall ye see rain. Yet the valley shall be filled, filled with water, and many and and that ye may drink, both ye and your cattle and your beasts. Eighteen. And th this is but a light thing in the sight of God. What give me Barbara? What is that thing that is like so much that we think I am? Is not is not doable to have ditches and for it not to rain. <laughs> you know the process of filling a ditch should involve a rain falling. But God is saying that the process that you and I think God does not need it to accomplish that which He has said and proposed to do for you and I. And so shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, there's a protocol, but God is a God that by and overrules protocol and situations and circumstances. He can move in ways that you know that by tomorrow morning, the same God that through the uh, um, in Samaria day, he said that by this time a wit of a chemical will be, and it happened. The man that leaned on the hand of the king said, "No, how will this be? And even if God opens the windows of like, who are you?" Who are you? You see, when people even talk about like that Titanic people, even God cannot. Who are you? What is your problem speaking like that? Isn't that over familiarity? Yes, no. Even God that not sink this Titanic. Mm. I mean, stupidity of the eyes. Must you bring God in? Must if you want to talk stupidity, must you bring God? Come join. No. No. Is God in our our Sawawu be our mate? No. No. Even God cannot sing this. Like seriously? I mean, son, down, down. Down, down. What you do to it? Some people. Uh, uh, and the man and, and Elijah said that time that look. Okay, you may feel it. It will come. Your mouth will not touch it. Did it happen like that or not? No. How dare you? You can joke around yourself, but don't don't talk. When God is above our our level, oh no, actually, the word. Verse eighteen. He said, and this is. But a light thing. I don't know that everything that you feel is impossible. Ah, you want to buy a property. God, I don't have money. <laughs> this one is too much for you. With God, it says it's a light thing. Hey, ah, I don't have that green card. I don't have that uh, visa. I don't have that job sales. Or, oh, I, this thing, hey, it's too much. He said, but with God, this is a what? This is a light thing in the sight of the Lord. And he will deliver the Moabites also into your hand. He will deliver our goods into our hands in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Verse 24. Let's just jump to verse 24. No, let's start from verse 23. 22. And they rose up early in the morning. The sun and the sun shone upon the water. By the time they woke up, the water, the ditches were full of the water. Right? So, <laughs> you see this God. And the sun shone upon the water. And the Moabites saw the water on the other side. You know the Moabites had done their own line up. The, you know? So they saw the water, the ditches. The children of God had already been satisfied. You know, initially they didn't have water. They needed water to drink so that they don't die of thirst. Right? So they have drunk, their cattle don't drink, their horses are drunk, everybody's satisfied. Now, the sun was shining upon, you see, the blessings that God will do for you and I. 
you to satisfy you and I in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It will satisfy us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And then he said, they rose up and the sun shone upon the water. And the Moabites saw the water on the other side. As what? You're not reading. Open your Bibles. Open your Bibles. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Verse 22. Second, second Kings 3, 22. And there was a bread in the morning. And the sun and upon the water, and the Moabites saw the water, and they stood on the other side. Everybody, and everybody. The and the water on the, and the Moabites saw the water on the other side as what? As red as blood. As red as blood. Damn. Yes, that is God. They saw the reflection to them. It's like you call it oasis or whatever. But this one was showing that it was not glittering. Normally it's supposed to be shimmering and glittering. But they could see what? Blood. Our enemies will see blood. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 23. And they said, this is blood. The kings are, are surely slain. See how? They thought that the Israelites, the, um, uh, the Jew, Judah, the Edomites, that they were what? The Jews, rather. They are what? That they are already what? Slain. God will deceive our enemies. In the name of Jesus, to fall into a trap, a death trap in the name of Jesus Christ. The evil that they propose for us, if they will fall into it themselves in Jesus' name. And they said, they and they said, This is blood. The kings of the kings are surely slain, and they have smitten one another. <laughs> Our enemies will smite one another, each other in Jesus' name. Now, therefore, more they say, Ah, therefore, more to be what? To the spoil. Come on, Kitika, Kitika. They were like, oh yes, we are going to have the spoil. They were not even thinking that. Let's even come down. Ah, our enemies will make a mistake. Amen. And fall by it in the name of Jesus Christ. So go up to the, to the spoil. Like, to the rescue. 23. And when they came to the camp of Israel, the Israelites rose up and smote the Moabites so that they fled before them. But they went forward, smiting the Moab, even in their country. And they beat down the cities on every good piece of land. On every, every good piece of land. Cast every man his stone, right? And filled it. Please, let's pay attention to this point. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If you are, you can move around. You can move around. This is very, very important, brethren. Read your Bible. I want your faces in your Bible so that we know and do not miss this point. And filled it, and they stopped all the wells of the water and fell all the good trees. Only in Kiharasha left they the stones. Therefore, thereof. How be it? The slingers went about it and smote it. 24, 26. And when the king of Moab, listen guys, are you all there? Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Verse 26. And when the king of Moab saw that the battle was sore for him, was too sore for him, he took with him 700 men that drew swords to break through even unto the king of Edom, but could not. The battle was already won as far as the Israelites were concerned. God then gave the promise. He had, it was God through the mouth of Elisha that spoke that he was going to give them, right? If you look at, praise the Lord, if you look at verse 18, he said, and he said, and uh, um, he said, and this is but a light thing in the sight of God. And he will deliver the Moabites also into your hand. God gave that word. God gave the promise through the mouth of Elisha. But look at verse 27. Everybody stand up. Everybody, let's stand up. Let's stand up. Verse 26. Uh, B. 
He said he took with him 700 men that drew swords to break through even unto the king of Edom, but they could not. 27, are you reading? Then he took his eldest son, ah, that should have reigned in his stead, out of desperation, out of their desperation, he took his eldest son that should have reigned in his stead and offered him as a burnt offering. Yes, he burnt his son upon the wall. And there was great indignation against even Israel. Ha! The children of the world, they know what they ought to do. Even against the promise of God. We were talking before, we are saying different things. You'll be wondering, oh, I've been praying now, I've been fasting, I've been tithing, I've been doing, I've been giving arms. I've been doing the things I've been asked to do. Look at this man. After Elisha had given the word, oh, some of us are going to say, that pastor, does, that prophet does not know anything. He does not know what he's saying. He's just deceiving me. Really? He said, and verse 27, and he took his eldest son. Do you understand what that means? His eldest son, Igya Koshe, that's supposed to reign in his head. And the level of desperation, that's what some of the, the, the sons of wickedness are doing to you. Maybe it's not their son, but they do all manner of things to keep the children of Israel, on, I mean the children of God, Frustrated, they make some you you prayed today, you fasted, you are tired. They are not tired, despite the fact that they were losing. The Bible first said in 27, in verse 26, that he took with him 700. It's they still they're always gathering against us, and we we, we stay by ourselves. Some of us said we'll go to one corner and be brooding. And so the enemy traps us there. We don't come out together. We don't resist. We, 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 we do it for a while. We're tired. We're tired. Ha! Ah, we're tired. I've been on this thing for 10 years. I've been on this thing for 20 years. I've been on this thing for 5 years. For 3 years. What is going on? It's not asking God, I'm tired though. I'm going to, go, I'm going to look for second option. Or I'm just going to be eating and marrying. The Bible says, John 7, then he took his eldest son that should have reigned in his stead, in his place, and offered him for a burnt offering upon the wall. Ah! Upon the wall. Oh yeah, let's read. All everybody together. And there was great indignation against Israel. And they departed from him and returned to their own land. There was great indignation when he did that offering. I'm sure I might not, I'm not dead though. When the Bible says there was great indignation, do you know what that entails? Great multitude of demons. Yes! He summoned the assistance of demons against the children of God. And many of us who do not understand these things, we say, hey, we are praying, and you and I, I'm still. Uh, Oh God, I prayed, I prayed. Why can't you just do this thing? What is going on? You pray like this, they go back and go and re renew the thing again. Yes! What is the aim? To frustrate us. To make us lose faith. To make, the Bible says, if you faint in the day of your strength is what? They try to tire us out. Wear us out. So that we can just throw in the towel and say God does not exist. God does not exist. Ah, ah, I don't know about why. This is the, the, everything we have said. May God forgive us. This is against the children of Israel. It's like you you not when you when you this Bible. You will not believe anyone can do this. Burnt his own son. His son. Thank God for the death of Jesus. Even God had to 
sacrifice the Lord Jesus Christ. Because of the indignation of the enemy against us. That's why Jesus Christ had to die upon the cross also. So that the things, this kind of thing that these people did, you can cancel it. Because the Bible says that Jesus was someone that was sinless. He had no sin. This one, now, the only God knows what kind of sin this one is. So the, the indignation was for a while. But yet he still worked. It was for, for a son that was maybe ungodly or wicked. It's a, it's, it's a, it's a, I don't know, power, power something that, that people ignite against when they are desperate. But you and I, we need to think, what is that thing? You know, it's not, it's not a matter of sacrificing someone. What is that thing that God is acquiring from you and I? As a form of sacrifice. As a form of sacrifice. Is it our is it our appetite? Our love for food? To fast? So ah, uh, some people here cannot play with their breakfast too. Their coffee in the morning? No, 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 no. They have to no no no. What are you talking to me about? Is it our mouth to brittle our mouth? Is it our heart? To be stayed on him? Is it the love of money? What is God requiring from you and I? Even the Lord God Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth, had to sacrifice his own son so that he can have what he wanted, which is us, you and I, so that he can bring us back to him. These people, this king of, uh, of uh, um, uh, Moab, look at what he did. And the Bible says there was great indignation against the children of Israel. Despite the fact that God had promised, despite the, God, the fact that God had even already done miracles, we saw it. They were winning. They had gone to the cities. They had taken over. But to spare the remnant, he killed his own son. That victory may return back to him. Ha. Those are the kind of things, those are the kind of people we're dealing with. You see, you see, <laughs> you know, in their cult, they ask them to bring what? For that power that they use, eh? Say terrible things. And they do it. Ah, the children of God, God help us all. Ah, God help us all. This coke and Fanta Christianity. God help us, oh God help me, oh. And ice cream. Ice cream Christianity. Uh, if everything is not okay, if the chairs are not, if the place is not, <laughs> we're looking for AC. Christianity, why AC? We're looking for how the, 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 for oh, that church, they don't have a, they don't have a LAC. What's that big thing, the screen that they have? LED. LED, thank you. If they don't have this, that is what we children of God are looking for. Comfort. Well, uh, if they don't have the AC blasting, split, central, and um, in fact, they have to serve coffee in the, in the lounge. Oh yeah, coffee and biscuit, or coffee and bread and sandwich. That's what we're looking for. That's what we want. Or is it Buffet King after our service? Chinese. Chinese. Or they, they should be able to take us to lunch. That's what children of God, the soldiers of Christ, are looking for. While they are planning against the church, planning against her people, planning to but the, thank God for the promise of Jesus. Jesus wants him more. That's why he, 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 he made that decree. He said, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell will not prevail. If not for Christ, if not for the word of Christ, the Christ himself, the way we children of God are doing, simple instructions we don't do. Cover your hair, we don't do. Be serious, we don't do. Read your Bible, we don't. We're too busy. And these people are chanting incantations against us. Day and night. Have you seen when they said witches fast? They deny themselves. Hours. Hours. Weeks. Months. To be able to attack a child of God that is filled with a, maybe depending on the level of 
running so see the enemy does not fight fail we're not trying to scare nobody but we still need to tell ourselves the truth so that we can wake up not wake up to foolishness wake up to foolish things use a woman like seriously is that what we're talking about can you define who a woman is really if you don't know what a woman go back to elementary school and the kind of things they're even teaching those ones in elementary god have mercy what are we doing you want to be. Hey, we can be what you want to be. You know, let nobody, nobody's the boss of you. No, it's no such thing. The Bible says even the Lord Jesus Christ, he, he subjected himself to discipline by the things, by the, you know, by the things he suffered. He learned obedience. No, no, children, they don't know to. Ah, uh -uh. if you look at the, the population, of blacks and whites here. White people, they spank their children. They spank their children. They, they discipline their children. They then that's how they behave black women. Don't touch rabbit. Don't get, no, don't, don't, don't. You wonder why the children are the way they are. Spare this rod and spoil the child. I'm not saying you beat the child mercilessly and all that, but there has to be discipline. However, you choose to do it. Children to themselves, you ah, in that kingdom, they discipline themselves. If they fail on any assignment, you tell your child to go and read the Bible. Yeah, uh, oh, mommy, I want to play my game. Really? They will flog that child. They'll have. No, I'm not choking right now. By certain age, they must have mastered certain things, certain incantations. And these children, you. Uh, well, they all, you will not see, they know they write it for Facebook. They don't write it for in their faces. I remember when I was in high school, I think it was from one, I, I had to go to another part of the country too, because I was young and, you know, I got in, I, I passed this government chance, so I had to go stay with my aunt. And there was a situation there, the school was a very, was notorious for this. It was notorious. So somebody tried, you know, put something, gave me something, and I didn't take it. So I just put it in my drawer. Another girl just came and, you know, she was playing, opened my locker and took it. And But this girl was very friendly with me, was very friendly with me. By the morning, <laughs> by the morning, she changed. I said, you know, I was blowing the many teeth at herself. The face changed and she changed. and the Lord told me back then I was just I think maybe nine. Yeah, I was nine or so. I couldn't go to uh, back school? then. Yeah, oh yeah. Huh? I couldn't go to <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I the girl became no, a so the oh. girl became angry with me. And the Lord told me that yes, that this was that she was initiated, that that thing was initiated. Those are the people, we're all in school. That age, okay, I was like the youngest, you know, but you know, we have, but still, still. So you go to school with these people, you, you go to work, you are more there. And you, you just, you even find it difficult to. Pray in the night. You don't pray. Ah, thank God for this God that loves us so much. Thank God for God. I pray will I'm over. Which prayer? But he that neither sleeps nor slumber, that is our keeper. That's why we thank him. That's why we worship him. Because he knows most of us are gone out. We're tired. We're tired. You come back, you're exhausted. In fact, it's by fast, you just quickly eat something and go and sleep. And that's what the world that the enemy is doing to keep the children of God under pressure. I pray that the Lord will deliver us Amen. from every oppression in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That the Lord allow our fire power in the name of Jesus. That we will be schools, no stop serving people in the name of God will make sources of income for us so that we can serve him well in the name of the Lord.
the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I remember Pastor Day, anytime you pray, you know, you say, eh, God, sources of life, I used to wonder, oh, what, 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 if, but I understand now what he's saying. How can you do the works of God? How can you pray? How can you preach? How can you evangelize? How can you pray? How can you adequately engage if you are burdened by your bills? Bills are piling up. They're waiting for you. The Lord will pay all our bills in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's just uh, begin to thank God for today. Our Father, my God, we have heard your word and we know that it's heavy. We pray, Jehovah, that you will expound these words in our heart. That, Lord, this word will not speak against us in the day of judgment. That even as we've heard it, we will be here as oh God. That you will help us, our help in ages past. Ah, well, that's why I think, you know, now I understand why he said we should sing that song. That hymn, our uh, God in hell in ages past. It's very present help. We need you. We need you, oh God. We need you. Brethren, please pray, pray, children, pray. That God help me, help me. We are in this world. We are not of the world. God has still kept us here for a reason, so that we can occupy for Him, so that we can we can expand the territory, enlarge the territory of our God, even in the land of the living. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Father and our God, we thank you. We give you praise. We thank you for your word, O God, that you have spoken, O God, this morning. Father, we pray that you help us. Father, help us, O God, because we cannot do this by ourselves. It is heavy. The kind of things that they are inciting against us. That day by day as we pray, it seems as if our prayers are not working. But no, they are working. The enemy is just not relating. Oh Lord, we ask, like our minister said, Lord, weary our enemies out. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, weary them out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let them go out of resources. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The power of backing them up. We bind in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything, element that they're using against us, we set them at place. Every evil altar speaking against us. Lord, let them catch fire by fire. Let them catch fire by fire. Let them catch fire and burn to ashes. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Pray, 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 brethren, pray. Oh God, come and help me. Help us, oh God, in this ministry. Help us in our families. Help us in the victory, oh God. Lift our head to
Lord Jesus Christ. Let our enemies, oh God, stumble and fall. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, plead my cause, oh Lord, with them that strive with me. Oh Lord, fight against them that fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for my help. Lord, stand up for our help. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, draw out also the spear ah, and stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my soul, O oh God, I am thy salvation. Lord, God of mercy, draw out your spear. Ah, in the name of Jesus Christ, war against them that war against me. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, O oh Lord, you are my salvation. Lord, show God that you are my salvation. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let them be as chaff before the wind and let the angel of the Lord persecute them. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let their way be dark and slippery and let the angel of the Lord persecute them. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, oh, let their pussy katari malababa. Let the, the name be 
the Lord caused him. So let it come unto him in the name of Jesus Christ. As he delighted not in blessing, so let it be far from him in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be clothed with with cursing, like with with the garments. So he, so let it come into his bowels like water, like oil into his bones. Let there be none, oh God, to show him mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh Lord God Almighty, we ask that you save us, oh God. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, remember, remember us, oh God. Remember us, oh God. Remember us and open unto us of your good treasure. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Every limitation, every hindrance, every, every form of subjugation, everywhere where the enemy has, has tied us down. Let us be set free so that we might prosper and go forward in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you, O God. We give you all the praise, O Master. Jehovah, King of glory, we say, be thou exalted. We thank you for that which you are going to do in our midst, which you are going to begin to do again, which you are going to continue to do. Father, we say, be thou exalted. Be lifted high, O God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. We soak ourselves in the blood of Jesus Christ. Jesus. We soak our prayers in the blood of Jesus Lord Christ. Jesus. All that concerns us, our homes, our families, our jobs, finances, our health, our careers, we soak in the pool of the blood of Jesus. We and our, our families, we run into the pool of the blood of Jesus Christ. We hide in God, in Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and is safe. Oh Lord God Almighty, keep us safe in the name of Jesus. The blessings of God that make it rich and has no sorrow. Lord, let it be converted unto us. The multitude of the sins, let it be transferred. The wealth of the Gentile, let it be transferred unto us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Cause men and women to favor us this week in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. We pray for all the titans in the house that Lord you will lift their hands. You will cause them to always be above and never beneath. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, you will cause the angel of blessing to hover over them continually. This one will not be limited. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Wow. Father, we thank you. You said you open the windows of heaven you pour out a blessing and there will not be enough room to contain it. Let it be their portion in Jesus' name. You said you will give the devourer. Oh Lord, for their sake, Lord, do in Jesus' name. Oh, my Father, my God, every siege that the enemy might have wanted or planned or done against them, Lord, by the fire, the enemy is not going to show you who was drawn or tired. Let the fire that goes before God consume their enemies in the name of Jesus and burn them to ashes. Let the ways of your people be opened. Every title in the house, your way is opened in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. On our team, on in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. On our team, Lord, you will cause them to continually have. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, they will never go down. In the name of Jesus Christ. Ah, 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 in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we insist you see the pillar, the pillar that backs up, will back you up continually. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and we should be done. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. We decree for the children, the students, the young adults in the house that you great shall be your peace. You shall be part of the Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the wisdom, knowledge, understanding, interpretation, the excellent spirit of God will be in you, will possess you, will cloak and garnish your life in the name of Jesus. Like we said last week about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and Daniel, that is your portion in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You will be the best of the best in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be 
Mm. You will serve the Lord. You will love the Lord. Amen. You will love and adore God. Amen. And God will make you his children indeed. All of us. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So, before we thank you, we give you praise. We appreciate you for the message. Thank you for speaking to us today. Thank you for the God that you used to bring for more than 90. More of your grace, more of your giving, more of your teachings, more of your instruction of your daughter in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for us also in power. The Lord will only hear those who do us in the morning in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will profit us, we have an expression in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will benefit us in the name of Jesus Christ. And in the end of all our lives, we will be blessed, O oh God, in the name of the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, we thank God for today. And uh, we are trusting God that the Lord has sent to us today. The blessings they are permanent in the name of Jesus Christ. We are the Confident Foundation, and by the grace of God, we meet here every Sunday to fellowship and share the word also. And um, we are still on the mandate of reaching out to our elderly ones and our communities and all over the world with um, full item on the 6th of October. So we are looking at October 12th for our annual concerts. October 12th is our annual concerts. We are having it at 5 p.m. October 12th, 5 p.m. is Central Time. 5 p.m. is Central Time. I'm not sure how that translates in your own time zone. Please pray, plan, prepare, adjust your schedule to join us for that program. It's a program we don't want to miss. As we're talking about the presence of God here this morning, we are always, always blessed, privileged to have this awesome presence again in that annual program with a lot of packages for each and every attendee. Please do not miss it. You know, you can be here physically, or you want to join us online on our Facebook page, on our um, YouTube page, on our Instagram. We're going to be adding all the things about um, working and functioning. And also, uh, if you can be here, God wants to be here also, please join us in the bridge to bless. It is 9706 Sugar Blossom Lane in Sugarland, Texas. And your life shall be sweeter than sugar as you come. <laughs> Sugar life. Sugar, sugar. <laughs> Amen. 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 Sugar bluff. Amen. 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 Please join us. Well, uh, the, the South Africa Ambassador Program right here was a very, very big program. It's a very, very big program. The program that the grace of God will be, will be reaching out to the whole world. Even right now, reaching out to the whole world, there is a program that will have a large turnout and reaching out to the whole world also, um, as God will be helping us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen.